Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning about Azure Logs. Azure Logs uh, sometimes we also call as management logs, which uh, logs or which gives you the administrator a flexibility to log a specific resources or resource groups so that um, it will be protected from accidental deleting or modification in any way. And there are two different types of the logs are available. When you go to the console, you would see one as a read only and also other one would be the delete. So that means as name says, you can only read only if you set it. That means any of the Azure admin, no matter whether what permissions he have, uh, maybe he's an admin also. If you set as the log type as a read only, he can only read. That's it. He cannot even delete. So when you put as a delete, it will prevent from only uh, from the deleting being deleted. So these are uh, two are directly from the Azure portal. But if you locate the either Azure CLI or PowerShell or in the back end ARM, actually that will use two different uh, names. One would be the cannot delete. That's nothing but is the delete one and the read only will talk about just as the read. So cannot delete means authorized users can still read and modify a resource, but they cannot delete the resource. That's nothing but here the delete. And coming back to the read only, uh, they are authorized to read the resource, but they cannot delete or update the resource applying uh, when you apply this kind of uh, Lock and coming back to the inherit policy when you apply it on the top, the most restrictive locking policy will apply for the target object. Let's say you applied only read only and at the top and some other place you applied in the down layer as the cannot delete. So the top one would be the read only, so that gets applied. And if you are looking to create from Azure PowerShell or CLI, you would be using here the Azure resource lock as the command line or commandlet will be used to create uh, the required resource groups to locking or unlocking would happen. And for CLI, it would be the AZ lock. That's the command we would be using. So let's jump into the demonstration how to apply these. Let's jump into the demonstration. Um, if you see here, I have a virtual machine and the demo managed identity as a resource group. Uh, that's a resource group what I have. And within this resource group, I also have app services uh, like the application insights and application app service. A lot of different resource, uh, resources are specific, for example, Key Vault, all that are part of this specific resource group. And let's jump into the, well, by taking one example as app service. And you can see here the app service is also working fine when I actually run this a specific application. Now let's uh, try to configure here as they cannot delete um, resource log and see what we can do. So I'm in this uh, specific, the specific virtual machine and I'm applying from the log. So all you have to do is uh, open up open up the virtual machine. In my case, I'm just going to the virtual machine, uh, trying to apply here. So any of the resources, no matter whether it's a virtual machine or application service or SQL or wherever you go on any of the resource, mostly it would be under settings. In fact, it's it will be on settings. There would be a logs icon will be there. So you just have to come here and click on add. So when you click on add, you have an option to give the log name. In this case, I'll just give as a meaningful description as well as the notes and then I can choose whether you want to apply uh, as a read only or delete. So in my case, I would be applying delete and giving the a meaningful name here uh, just for my notes purpose. For example, say if production one specific. So now the lock has been uh, applied post to the saving. It means I cannot delete. That means I should be able to do any kind of modifications. Let's say in the tags, I want to apply some tag like um, maybe a just for the billing information specific, just to identify I gave a name in my uh, tags. So that would actually take up, but I cannot delete the specific one. Uh, so that means any changes uh, will be accepted, but you cannot delete. That's how we have done. Now, 
let's go back to the uh, that is we have applied at the resource layer since it's applied at uh, resource layer whatever the resources within this resource group uh, that all cannot be deleted but it can be modified if really needed any kind of changes let's take uh, this app service and uh, and try to delete but uh, before deleting I wanted to do some kind of modification you see here I'm able to do the modification because the log was configured not to delete but but we didn't apply it as a read only we applied not to delete so we can do the required changes you can see as you see here app services we are able to configure identity management or any configuration you want to do it uh, feel free to do it it will allow you but it doesn't delete you that's the idea if i just go back to resource logs I can show you here for this specific app service we can see here it cannot be deleted is inherited from the resource group layer now let's try to delete um, this specific v uh, app service uh, can we delete or not so if you see here it actually throwing an error saying you cannot delete this resource because it is preventing deleting as it has a lock so that's the uh, message what we are receiving but we did uh, even configure uh, we have done the changes for the configuration part but it was not allowed for it to delete now let's try to apply one more resource uh, policy let's say read only specific here for the resource logs uh, to secure uh, and I would be applying only read only here and give a, any meaningful name that will explain about what we are uh, trying to apply and why we have applied this specific uh, lock now if I just go back to maybe let's let's go back to configuring the tags so it doesn't allow us to save because we configure as read only that means we are not allowed to do any changes let's say save it says that um, it could not save the tags for the resource identification uh, because possibly it's locked so if I just go to the documentation they talk about all that uh, hey you don't have how to apply all that but you know it also talks about the subscription uh, specific tags cannot be applied because if it is a lockdown let's go back to the uh, what we have done the changes earlier like identity management we have enabled for this let's uh, deconfigure that or remove your identity so let's go to the identity and turn off and click on save that will actually throw an error saying hey this scope is locked and you cannot do any modifications for this specific resource that's how um, it will save us and it will secure the entire resource with the help of Azure resources I hope this uh, demonstration is useful let's jump into the PPT to talk more on other two points that are useful for us. Just to consolidate uh, post to the demo, we learn about Azure resources uh, which will help us to secure our configuration from any authorized or unauthorized changes being done for your Azure resources by applying either read-only or cannot delete specific logs. Unlike RBAC, that's a role-based access control, uh, when compared with that, resource logs will apply a restriction across all the users and the roles, regardless what permissions they have, because it will protect that uh, specific resources based on the configuration that you have done, like cannot delete or read only kind of you know, configuration. And uh, coming back to the, uh, when we look at, ARM specific we need to have uh, we need to have the access for Microsoft dot authorization forward slash star for example logs uh, these specific access is needed in order to delete the management logs so that's where it's gonna uh, work on that I hope this entire lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this I'll catch you later